Good morning. Again, I'm coming to you from 11.30 in the morning when I should have, you know, gotten up out of bed ages ago and I literally just moved from my bed to my desk. Last night I got around like 7-8% through the lies about the truth by like Courtney C. Stevens. You would think with such similarly voiced protagonists, I would get either confused or I wouldn't like her as much, but I absolutely love so far what I've read of this book and I can't wait to keep reading. I'm probably going to finish today because, you know, Courtney C. Stevens even though it's not like a bunch of things are happening, every little thing that does happen and every detail we're given as readers makes me just want to read more and more of it. And without a doubt, one of these books are making it onto my top 15 in 2015. I've also listened to two, two and a half hours of A Walk on Earth the Stranger by Ray Carson. And the thing is, I also have a hard copy version from my sister from Hanukkah. Thank you so much, Emma. And I'm going to let you switch between reading the hard copy and the audiobook. And today, my basic plans are to film all the videos I didn't film yesterday. I don't know what happened actually happened yesterday besides the fact that I'm currently packing for my trip to England as you can definitely see my room is a complete and utter mess so packing aside we're also having a kitchen remodel which means hand washing every single dish we eat off of besides that I had to just put a huge push on editing my November wrap-up it took me so much longer than I thought it would it's gonna go up on Monday I know I have the whole Monday Friday scheduling but on the cases where I forget to or I don't have a video prepared for Friday in this case I actually did but I didn't want to put it up I will be posting on Monday Wednesday and Friday to make up for the lack of video last Friday I'm gonna have obviously the Cramathon update wrap-up to post as well. I have 10 Tiny Breast Book Talk with Katie Tucker and then I also do have this desk tour that I've been meaning to film for forever. I just know that it requires a little more movie magic than I would like and my desk currently is a complete mess. I'm gonna have to fix that before I film anything, obviously. Like, look. Oh, look, this is my desk tour. Don't need to film anything now, right? Right? I'm just watching Emma Book's most anticipated releases of 2016 because I really want to make one of my own videos for this and just find out what's coming out because I'm just really behind the times. Like, it's already December 20th. I don't really know what my most anticipated book of 2016 is and that's like a huge issue for me. Plans for the day. Besides filming and editing and just being a complete video machine, I'll do some more packing and reading obviously, but I also will be studying for my Spanish quiz tomorrow and my 12 Angry Men quiz tomorrow. Actually, it's called a twiz according to my teacher, which is a test quiz because she doesn't want to make it hard as a test and long as a test, but not as easy as a quiz. Anyway, it's getting totally off topic. I'll probably have some clips later of me studying because who doesn't want to see me fail epically trying to speak Spanish? So it is a lot later. I'm obviously in a completely different location and my day took a turn for just not the worst necessarily, but just the really weird, bad, non-productive. But anyways, what happened today was I just got sick. I don't really know what happened. I got these terrible cramps. I was getting these hot and cold flashes and just my head was hurting. Way too much information, I know. I did get the chance to listen to a ton of Walking with a Stranger audiobook. I'm now six out of ten files through, which is two-thirds of the way done, maybe a little bit less than that. And I'm loving the story so much. It's a lot slower and completely different from Girl of Fire and Thorns, but it's still very good and I'm enjoying it a lot. And then besides that, I've read probably like five more percent of Lies About the Truth by Courtney C. Stevens. And right now I'm going to, after I turn off the camera and do wash face things, reading more of that, hopefully getting to, I don't know, 30%, maybe 40 if I'm like really lucky and feel like depriving myself of sleep. And today basically all I can tell you that I've done is sleep, study, and FaceTime. Like I've just slept so much and I studied for my Spanish test. I'm gonna tell you right now what time it is in Spanish. Son las diez y veinte de la noche. That means it's 10, 20 at night, yep. <laughs> So good at Spanish. Wasn't the best, most productive day, but I still actually have two more days left of the Cramathon. I did not know this. I actually looked it up this morning that this Cramathon actually goes till the 22nd, which means till Tuesday. Anyways, I'm hoping to read a lot more. I have more books. Overdrive's notified me that I have an ebook of attached to the Rainbow Rallies. I'm gonna jump on that because I love Rainbow Rallies. So 
it is a Monday the 21st, day 3 of the Cramathon, and it's currently 8.30 at night, and I just finished audiobooking the rest of Walk on Earth the Stranger by Ray Carson, and I absolutely loved it. I'll probably have my full thoughts in either like a review or a book talk, haven't decided yet which one, because it depends on whether I ha want to have spoiler thoughts or not. But there's something about Ray Carson's books where you kind of just plod along for the first half or so, and you're like, what is really the point? Like, you're enjoying it, and you're enticed to read more, but you're just like, why am I reading? And then by the time you get to around three quarters, 80% through, you're just like, oh my goodness, this book is so infectious, and somehow everything comes together so automatically, and it leaves you with such a satisfying ending. Although I did see the ending for this particular novel. There was this kind of cliffhanger they were building up to, so I totally knew that was going to happen. But at the same time, it was so great, and most definitely the sequel is going to be one of my most anticipated books of the year. Right now, I am currently looking through all my footage from the Cramathon updates I filmed thus far, and I've actually realized that I'm going to need probably two, maybe even three videos for all my Cramathon updates. I thought I could have just one neat wrap-up. Turns out I talk way too much for that. <laughs> Big surprise there. The goal for the rest of the Cramathon is to finish The Lies About the Truth, which I got 35, 40% through last night. And if I have any time after that, I'm planning on starting attachments every morale. Probably only get 25% through it or something like that. So you totally weren't wondering this, but this is what three months worth of French packet slash homework slash notes looks like. Literally all French. And then, in this lovely orange folder, we have all of my Spanish notes. I'm taking Spanish 1, and I am in 2.2, en la escuela, in the school. And here are all the vocab words I have yet to actually learn. And then all the work that goes along with it. If you were wondering all of a sudden what this is all for, I am going to be out of the country for three months. I'm going to Oxford, England, and going to school there for my parents' sabbatical, and... I have a lot of work to make up slash do while I'm there. Contrary to popular belief, I have moved from this desk in the past three days, but whenever I reach for the camera, I'm here. You know, that's how it is. And I am so freaking exhausted. It's only 8.45 at night, and I just want to keel over and sleep for 12 hours, which I can't do because of school. But thank God tomorrow is my last day of school before break. I'm so freaking excited and I just want to be done. But at the same time, I'm really excited about tomorrow because there aren't any tests or quizzes. The teachers are going to go really easy on us and I have two parties, one in English, one in French, and I know we're going to have a really easy day in Spanish and global as well. So there's that. And then tonight I will be filming my desk tour mostly because I gotta get on that. It's the one of two videos I need, need, need to film before I leave for England. Everything else I can just sit down in front of a camera and do, but the, for this particular one, desk door obviously needs this desk, and the other one is my holiday haul, and that one I need all the items obviously to show off. I have not read that much today. I am a terrible person. Yes, I do know that. I will get on it very soon. I literally this morning got ready in I think like seven minutes or something ran to school in the pouring rain <laughs> because my sister and I both overslept our alarms. It was terrible. Got to school right actually like 10 minutes early. It was a miracle. And just went on with the rest of my day. And I literally just uploaded day one's Cramathon update. I actually love this thumbnail. Thumbnails are basically my least favorite and most favorite um, part of the video at the same time, mostly because there's so much stress to make it artistic and appealing, but at the same time, if I do get it right, I feel very accomplished. It's just so much fun. For example, I titled the update First World Problems of Nanograms. The First World Problems is obviously my editing face. That's amazing. And my hat dilemma, if you remember that. And then I just have the banana grams in the background. Anyways, I will be doing things. I pinky swear this desk will be better. And by the way, I'm not wearing any eyeliner today, which I haven't done probably in I don't even know how long. I almost forgot to show you something that was really excited that happened last night, and that was I got the downstairs bookshelf all to myself. Well, actually, it's to share with my sister, but we all know that ain't gonna happen. And here we have the bookshelf, which I'm sure in a year will be completely full. For example, the one over there that I've done a bookshelf tour on, and a lot of other videos, obviously, with it in the background of me, has been completely filled. And last year, there was not a single book on it, so I'm pretty sure I can fill this one up pretty quick. And this is just a gorgeous, 
gorgeous bookshelf. It used to hold all of my parents' cookbooks, and now it just holds, for now, temporarily, my journals, as well as just my odds and ends book collection. So I am here in my bathroom yet again because of the wonderful natural lighting. It is the 24th of December, Christmas Eve, and I'm here to give you a quick wrap-up for the Cramathon because I did not actually read after that last clip you just saw. It was the night before, the last day before break. I had a lot of things to do, poems to write, you know the spiel. And I am actually very glad of my accomplishments during this Cramathon, and in considering what I know that I read last night, what I'm gonna read today, I know I am most definitely going to make my Goodreads challenge of reading 150 books this year. Thank you so much, Witty, from Witty Novels, for making this Cramathon possible. I have to read four more books in the next week, piece of cake here and I'm so happy that I'm going to make the 150. There were so many times during this year, even in July, I think where I was like, nope, not gonna make it, not gonna happen, uh, too much pressure. Let me just give you a quick wrap up. I read the speech, We Shall Be Feminist by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. I read the children's book, Fantastic Mr. Fox by Roald Dahl, the novella, The Blue Haired Boy by Courtney C. Stevens, and the audiobook for Walking Earth the Stranger by Ray Carson. I also got 40% through Lies About Truth by Courtney C. Stevens. In future, I'm actually planning on doing what I read in a week video just because I found this sort of casual vlog style so much fun and I definitely want to do more. And I just figured showing a little bit of my life and what I've read during an entire week could be a lot of fun. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I hope you guys had a fantastic Cramathon. Tell me how many books you read and what you had accomplished and what the rest of your reading year looks like. I know there's only like a week left in it. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Keep calm, read on, and I'm just going soon. Goodbye. If you enjoyed this video and like to see more like it, give a big thumbs up and leave me a comment below. If you liked it even more, hit the subscribe button. All my social medias are on my face at SSLSBooks and my previous videos are below me.